Uh, Safari's back in the news. He's making sure he's staying in the news to keep pushing his single. And this time, he's trying to retract everything that he said before. He said that he wrote Nikki's rhymes before and everything. And now he's saying, no, I didn't write those rhymes. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, and then he's also, like, just a, two weeks ago, he was saying that Nicki Minaj put hands on him and mentally abused him. It's like, jeez, man. This guy's really using this to get hot. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, let's get into this. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. At King Camille today, outside of Chicago, Kankaki, Illinois. He's got the new video tonight below. All his links to all his social media is below, and his new album is out now. The link is below. Monster has always been a leader in the headphone space. Just got the Clarity HD Bluetooth headphones. And if you want to run ads in the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. Don't ask me, don't ask me why I gotta keep on saying I write my own rhymes. Like, don't ask me why I do that. I do that because there's not a day that goes by that some clown don't come up to me and be like, yo, you write away your lyrics, ma? We got Safari today again, okay? He, now he's uh, saying that he, uh, he didn't write Nicki's rhymes, but on a bunch of shows he did say he wrote her rhymes, okay? Uh, like, take it right here together and and she became famous to us during this time did you help her with virtually 100 percent of the music that she Every, put? of course everything okay so he says that there then um he goes in here and says the same thing with whoever she wants she can get married tomorrow and be hey and i will wish her nothing but the best but when you try to like pull me down and and discredit what i've done for you like that's what's weak to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't say, oh, I don't have no talent. Because every time it came to writing raps and doing music, it was me, her, and a beat. You know what I'm saying? So he said all this, right? And it's, you know, he's being, he's just, he's lying, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that Safari was in the studio with her and they bounced ideas off of each other. But... You know, that doesn't mean everybody gets credit just because uh, someone's writing a movie and they have a co uh, conversation with someone at a coffee shop and it inspires something on the script doesn't mean that all of a sudden you're entitled to him. Was he entitled to something when he left? Yes, he was part of Nikki's team and he was entitled to some like, you know, to get it back on his feet. Just like when you leave any job, they give you a severance package. She was entitled to a severance package. Um you know, it's an unfortunate situation. We've all gotten burned in the music industry. I've been burned a million times, okay? Like, you don't always get all your credit. You don't get everything. Uh, even if you felt like you were in the studio doing that, you should have demanded your credit. I mean, I've made this mistake too, okay? And then, uh, you know, Nikki heard all that, and she responded to this before. She, she, she got on stage, and she made it very clear. I never stopped. See ya. So she fired back at him, but now Safari is on another show today and he claimed he didn't. Sometimes like you might say lines and shit and you might be like, yo, my here's my question. And you could just put yes or no. Mm -hmm. Have you written any whole entire verses or songs? No. Okay, so now he's not. I, I, I don't get this guy. And then, you know, the other day he was talking about that he was being mentally and getting hand, you know, getting hands put on him. With. Yeah, I was really comfortable, but then it, the, the, the fights and stuff, it just was, it just was getting too crazy. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to the hospital. <laughs> Yo. I'm, I'm backing up. What were you fighting? So, you know, he's talking about on this. I'll link some of these below. But anyways, you know, he was talking about he's being mentally and physically abused during that relationship. But then there's a 911 call where, you know, she's saying he did something to her face, you know. So it's like he cheated on her. And, and I know, you know, no relationship is perfect. We've all had our bad relationships. Once you're with someone for a while, it tests the relationship, especially something they went through where fame came into the picture and everything, you know. It never seemed like she really respected him 100%. Maybe it was just, you know, and that that's not her fault or to his fault. Maybe it was just a different kind of attraction. Who knows, you know? 
nobody's at fault here. It's just a relationship that didn't work out. But like for him to be lying and stuff to get famous, eh, that's like clout, you know, what they call clout chasing now. So anyways, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys and I'll check you guys on the next video. Peace. Like, don't ask me. Don't ask me why I got to keep on saying I write my own rhymes. Like, don't ask me why I do that. I do that because there's not a day that goes by that some clown don't come up to me and be like, yo, you write away your lyrics, ma? And I'm like, where have you been? Um, to make a long story short, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the, all, the, all the female rappers out there that's getting money. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't making moves, like, don't mention me. Don't Don't even think about me, like... I have nothing to say to you. Um, other than that, a shout out to all my go-getters, all my all my niggas in the hood that show me mad love. I really appreciate it. You know I love boys. Nicki Minaj loves the boys. <laughs> I love the girls too. Only if you only if you a bad bitch though. Like you gotta be an ill bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be getting money. You gotta be doing something with yourself. Like. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm about real shit. For, two, for 2007, if you're not an entrepreneur, don't talk to me. I don't care about it. Like, get a life, dude. Like, anyway, I have to shout out Greensboro, North Carolina, because I was out there, and they showed me so much love. And thank you. I love y'all. This is, like, my second home now, and I'm going to come back out there and say, um, and give y'all all hugs and kisses like I did the last time. And, um, am I forgetting anybody? Just shout out everybody. Shout out Queens. You know, y'all might see me in Brooklyn, but I, I have Queens flowing through my veins. So don't get twisted. I'm, I'm Queens to the bone. Um, shout out the whole Fire and Ice squad, the whole Beat Bank squad, the whole, um, the whole, who else I got to shout out? My nigga Patty Duke, nigga Caddy to the Coop, nigga. All my niggas on Merrick, all my niggas on Linden, my nigga Shaw, my nigga Mel, my nigga Face, my nigga Krills. Um, like, you know, that's how it's Sit it down and I'm ready to play When your album gon' drop, bitches never can say Say, fuck, I look like giving birds they props Bitches act like they hot, but I heard they not How the fuck you in the game like ten years strong? Y'all bitches still can't write your own damn song? You see me on a stoop, man, these birds just salute me But I'm in the coop with a hoopty doopsy I'm always with a dude that'll off your koofy Let him meet my coochie and cop me poochie House in the boonies, rock the doobie Cop the 22, then spark a Lucy He tell me I'm the one, he probably right He pressing me like button downs on a Friday night Your girl get it poppin' like dynamite Dynamite, the coke albino white Name one one bitch in the game that I can't murder Chicken noodle bitches wanna side with a soda Give it to everybody like a cop with a quota Stop play poker, hot and something mocha I eat bitches, no knife, no foca Bitch wonder with me living the life loca Oh, I get it, you a joker Leave a dot on your head and I ain't talking about poker Cause you the type that be running your mouth See you on the block when they run in your house I'm with the nigga Vindy, never fucks with a slouch I fuck with dirty money like what's under the couch Cause ain't a bitch could fuck with my flow When it come to drugs, mommy, just say no Either you run something or you're SLL Had to switch up the flow, let these skeptiles know I come, come hard, I don't come with garbage Just one phone call, they gon' come regardless I always got the ball, my roll with starters Write my own book and my flow's the hardest, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Hey? Uh, nigga. Yeah, tell Gilly, tell Gilly I got my own Big Mac, nigga. Hey. King Camille today, outside of Chicago, Kankakee, Illinois. He's got the new video tonight below. All his links to all his social media is below, and his new album is out now. The link is below. Monster has always been a leader in the headphone space. Just got the Clarity HD Bluetooth headphones. The links are below. Best headphones I've ever gotten. Sound is crystal clear and I rarely have to charge them. Just make it through the night. Everything will be alright. If 
if I could just make it. A King Camille today outside of Chicago, Kankakee, Illinois. He's got the new video tonight below. All his links to all his social media is below, and his new album is out now. The link is below.